U.S. Air Force Squadron enhances Ukraine's F-16 electronic warfare capabilities for modern air defense. The 68th United States Air Force Electronic Warfare Squadron recently activated an intensive training program to introduce electronic warfare technology to Ukraine's F-16 fleet. The move comes as part of the U.S. military's assistance in strengthening Ukraine's defenses amid heightened tensions in the Eastern European region. The program involves not only technical training but also the introduction of various EW technologies designed to augment the survivability of Ukrainian F-16 aircraft in modern conflict situations. The training program places a heavy focus on electronic warfare capabilities that are vital for F-16s to overcome modern threats, including missile attacks and advanced air defense systems often employed by adversaries. Electronic warfare allows F-16s to disrupt enemy radar, evade detection and overcome missile threats with techniques such as jamming and spoofing. Ukrainian technicians and pilots are trained to understand and maximize the potential of this technology to improve the effectiveness of their air operations. Electronic warfare is now an essential part of modern air tactics. This capability allows aircraft to conduct reconnaissance, attack and defense missions, without having to worry about early detection by the enemy. With help from the 68th Squadron, Ukrainian pilots can now develop new strategies to conduct air missions more safely, reducing their risk from enemy ground-to-air defense systems. During training, the 68th Squadron provided simulation devices and advanced jamming technology that allowed Ukrainian pilots to experience real combat scenarios. These simulators are used to train pilots to counter enemy threats with electronic warfare techniques, test their ability to identify and respond to threats from advanced radar systems, and practice how to evade radar-guided missile attacks. In simulated scenarios, pilots learn ways to evade enemy radar detection using maneuvering and electronic jamming techniques. In addition, they are also trained to operate in an environment rife with signal interference, enabling them to overcome the challenges that often arise in modern combat zones. By confronting these threats in a safe environment, the pilots gain real-world experience without having to face the risks on the ground. In addition to pilot training, Ukrainian technicians also received in-depth training in the installation and maintenance of EW systems on F-16 aircraft. Technicians are trained to ensure electronic warfare systems can function optimally in harsh combat conditions. This knowledge is crucial, as in modern warfare, mission effectiveness depends heavily on good technical readiness, especially when facing electronic attacks from the enemy. As part of the exercise, the 68th Squadron also introduced new technologies that can be installed on Ukrainian F-16s, such as lighter and more efficient radar jamming devices. This technology allows the aircraft to remain agile and fast despite being equipped with additional defense systems. With more advanced radar jamming, F-16s can outweat enemy defense systems, giving pilots the opportunity to attack or evade as needed.
Electronic warfare on the F-16 also enables spoofing capabilities, which is useful for fooling enemy radars so that they cannot determine the true position of the aircraft. With this technique, the enemy will have a hard time tracking the aircraft, and even if they manage to launch a missile, the pilot can use the spoofing technique to divert the missile from the aircraft's path. This capability is a very effective deterrent against increasingly sophisticated air defense systems. The exercise is expected to provide a major boost in Ukraine's defense capabilities, especially in the face of increasingly complex airspace threats. With EW technology, Ukrainian F-16s will have a tactical advantage in maintaining their air sovereignty, while enhancing security in an Eastern European region that is facing instability. The United States hopes that this technology can make a big difference in Ukraine's air defense strategy. On the other hand, the 68 Squadron also used this opportunity to strengthen cooperation between the U.S. and Ukrainian air forces. This collaboration serves not only as training, but also as a form of tangible support to an allied country, ensuring that Ukraine has the ability to defend its airspace with the latest technology. The training is a sign of the U.S. commitment to assisting allies in maintaining regional security, and the collaboration provides a space for the two air forces to exchange knowledge and experience in electronic warfare. Pilots and technicians from both sides get the rare opportunity to learn firsthand from each other's combat experience creating an exchange of information that is highly beneficial to the future development of their military technology. The program is not only about technology, but also about the right tactics and strategies in the face of modern challenges. In this exercise, Ukrainian pilots are trained to think flexibly, make quick decisions, and adapt quickly in dynamic combat situations. With these capabilities, they are expected to be able to respond to threats more effectively and efficiently. Sixty eight Squadron also engaged EW experts in designing a customized strategy suitable for Ukraine's geographical conditions. With terrain that differs from U.S. bases, the training was designed to tailor EW techniques to Ukraine's specific needs, allowing Ukrainian F 16s to optimally execute missions, utilizing every geographical and technological advantage available. The exercise served as a reminder of the importance of electronic warfare in the face of modern, invisible threats. The 68 Squadron has shown that air warfare is not just about physical weapons, but also about the ability to control and deceive information, which is now key in winning battles. This EW training and technology assistance program is part of the U.S. effort to strengthen the air defense capabilities of allied countries, especially those on the front lines of conflict. With this training, Ukraine now has new capabilities and technologies that increase their competitiveness in the air, safeguard their sovereignty, and strengthen their defense position in a dynamic geopolitical situation.